Hello everybody, welcome back to Spanish class. Do you guys have any ideas what we're going to do today? That's right, we're going to learn about our clothes. So let's get started on our lesson. Every day when we get ready for the day, we have to put on our clothes. In Spanish, we say clothes as ropa. Can you guys say that with me? Ropa. Good job, everyone. So now that we know how to say ropa, let's go through each individual item. First, we have un camisa. Un camisa is a shirt. Can you guys say that with me? Un camisa. Good job, everyone. Do you see this girl? She's not wearing un camisa, but she's wearing a dress. In Spanish, we say vestido. She is wearing un vestido. When you're not in the mood to wear un vestido, you could always wear pantalones. These are pantalones. Pantalones are pants. Can you guys say that with me? Pantalones. Look at what this girl is wearing. She's not wearing un vestido. She's not wearing pantalones. She is wearing un falda. That's right, un falda is a skirt. She is wearing un falda. Once we're done putting on some clothes, it's now time to put on some shoes. In Spanish, we say zapatos. It's time to put on our zapatos. Though not all zapatos need this, sometimes when we put on zapatos, we need medias. Medias are socks. Sometimes we have to put on medias with our zapatos. Now that we're done getting dressed, it's now time to put on some jewelry. These are earrings, but instead of saying earrings, let's say aretes. Can you guys say it with me? Aretes. Good job, everyone. Now that we have our clothes and aretes on, let's put on a collar. A collar is a necklace. Can you guys say that with me again, too? This is a collar. Good job. Now it's time to put on our pulsera. A pulsera is a bracelet. This is a pulsera. And this is our last piece of clothing. This is un traje de baño. That's right, everyone. Un traje de baño is a bathing suit. But now that we're done reviewing our clothes, let's get started on our activity. Hello, everyone. Now that we're done learning some Spanish words, it's now time for our first activity. So what we're going to need for this activity is some paper, crayons, or markers or colored pencils, scissors, and some paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to go online and you're going to find a picture of a gingerbread man. So I traced mine and I still have something that looks like this. And you're going to need about a few. You're going to need about six or five and you're going to print those out. You're going to decorate it and you're going to cut it out. And you'll have something that looks like this. This mine is already cut and ready to go and colored in. And then what you're going to do with the other ones that you also print out, you are going to decorate them and then you're going to put them right on here. And what I mean by decorate is you're just going to color them in, just like that. And now we're ready for our activity. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw a piece of clothing on each one of these gingerbread men. And you are going to tell me what it is that I drew. Are you guys ready? All right, let's get started. Hmm. What should my first one be? Let's see what I have. And remember, you can draw along with me and mine is gonna look different from yours and that is okay. Look what I did. So this first person, can you see what, that, what I drew? What is this first little gingerbread man wearing? That's right, everyone. This little gingerbread man or gingerbread girl in this case is wearing un vestido. That's a dress. She's wearing un vestido. Good job. And remember, once we're done drying the clothes, we will have a chance to decorate your own. Okay, let's see what else I can draw. All right, do you guys see the second right then? What do you guys see? That's right, everyone. I drew on some pants. Do you guys remember how do I say pants in Spanish? That's right, we say pantalones. I drew some pantalones on this gingerbread man. Good job, everyone. Okay, so remember now, first we had un vestido and now we have pantalones. Good job. All right, let's keep going. Okay, can you guys see my third gingerbread man? This one may be a little tricky. Can you guys guess what it is? What this one is wearing? 
that's right everyone so this gingerbread man is wearing un camisa un camisa is a shirt and un falda that is a skirt so un camisa and un falda there we go okay and now that it's getting hot what should i decorate this gingerbread man with hmm what would you wear going to a pool that's right, everyone. You would wear a bathing suit. And how do we say that in Spanish, everyone? That's right, un traje de baño. So I'm going to draw un traje de baño. Okay, this bathing suit might look a little funny, but look, I drew un traje de baño. That's un traje de baño for my gingerbread man. Good job. Okay. So now, let's go over what I drew. I drew un vestido, pantalones, un camisa, and un falda, and un traje de baño. So this is the one piece, un traje de baño. Good job, everyone. What should we do next on these two? Hmm, put your thinking caps on. What should we draw? All right, guys, so I drew on all of my clothes on these people. So I'm going to repeat some clothes, and that's okay. And now I'm going to draw some shoes. How do we say shoes in Spanish? That's right, we say zapatos. So let me draw some clothes, and then let me draw on some shoes. So take a look here, guys. I have un vestido with Zapatos, that's right, good job. Let's say it one more time together. Un vestido con zapatos. Good job, and these zapatos, I think they're missing something. What could they be? Hmm, what is it? are these pairs of shoes missing? Take a close look. That's right, guys, it's missing media. It's missing socks, so let's draw some socks. So now look. I drew some medias. Look how cool those medias look. There we go. Okay. And what else should we draw? Hmm. Our zapatos and medias. Let's put on some jewelry. So jewelry are necklaces, bracelets, or some earrings. So let's draw that on this gingerbread man. Okay. So now take a look at this gingerbread man. It has un camisa, pantalones, right in the middle, it might be hard to see, is un collar, and that's a heart necklace, un collar is a necklace, pulseras on both arms, and those are bracelets, and if you look very, very closely, you can see some aretes, that's right, some earring. Okay, so now that we're done drawing on our gingerbread man, it's time to decorate. So before we get started on our next activity, I just wanted to show you how I decorated. So I colored in all the pieces of clothing that I drew. And if you have any glitter or stickers, you could also add these to your gingerbread men. So let's get started on our next activity. Let's get started. So now that we're done with our first activity, for our second activity, we are going to make our own collar. So we're gonna make our own necklace. We could also make a pulsera if you guys want. But what you're going to need is some string and some beads for this activity. If you don't have beads, you could always use some pasta. You can paint them and decorate them. Wait for them to dry and then put it on your string to make your own pasta collar. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your string and you're going to cut a big piece. I'm gonna make mine super long because if you make it too tiny, then it's not gonna get over your head. So I'm cutting a super long piece, just so I know it'll stay on my head. And we could always make it shorter, but if it's too short, we can't make it longer. So I have a huge piece of string. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop so that my beads do not fall off of here, okay? And this is going to be for your collar. Or if you're making un pulsera, you're going to have to do the same thing. But you can make, if you're doing un pulsera, you can make sure that it is smaller. 
but make sure it's long enough that it goes around your wrist because again if it's shorter we can't really make it long but if it's long we can make it shorter and that's okay so see i have a knot at the end and then you're gonna grab some these i have a bag full and you're just gonna start adding them on and remember my collar my necklace is going or my pulsera is going to look different than yours and if you're making this with your mom or your dad or your brother and sister that is going to look different for them too so it's all going to look different from each other and that's a-okay so we're going to put some beads on there i'm just putting random beads or you guys can make a pattern So let's see what I have. So see, I'm gonna go as far as I want. And I already started another one, which has way more beads. See there? And that's gonna be for my yard. So look, we have azul, we have blanco, we have morado, we have amarillo and rojo, and we have verde and rosado and negro. We have all the different colors on here for our yard. So once you have enough beads on there, and this might take you a little while, so don't rush. But what you guys are going to do is, see, you're gonna drop your beads in the middle, and you're gonna tie it. And that's gonna go around my head, and look, I have my very own yard and you can make a lot of these you can make as many as you want guys it's up to you so that's my yard and right now I'm gonna make my pulsera all right now that I have my yard I'm gonna continue doing this and I'm gonna make un pulsera so I'm gonna make a bracelet okay and remember it's all gonna look different and each one of you is doing a great job making your very own jewelry. Good job, everyone. Okay. So look, this is gonna be my pulsera. It's very long, but that's okay. I can make it smaller. So remember to have mommy and daddy help you with this because you're gonna have to put it around your wrist. See, so mine's gonna look like that. All right, guys, so I cut it, I attached it, and now I have my very own pulsera. So look, I have my very own pulsera bracelet and collar. Well, guys, that was our Spanish class for today, and I hope you guys learned something and had a lot of fun. Bye, everyone.